12 News first reported COVID-19 cases at the Patrick Cudahy plant in Cudahy more than a month ago. The workers' union said Smithfield Foods was not taking proper safety precautions, and the number of sick workers soared to 28 two weeks ago. And I'm concerned because as COVID-19 is spreading and taking lives every day, uh, there's, there is not social distancing at Patrick Cudahy right now. They work with an inch apart. More than two weeks later, Smithfield Foods announced a shutdown of the plant for disinfection. They were being very unfairly treated. President very Donald Trump treated. was talking about the meatpacking plants today after signing an executive order to keep them open. The farmers are very happy and the ranchers and that whole uh, bottleneck is broken up. This is video of the Cudahy plant today and Smithfield Foods told us across all its facilities, the company is providing team members with abundant personal protective equipment, including masks and face shields, has implemented mass thermal scanning, and installed physical barriers on its production floors and in break areas. The Cudahy Health Department reported today it has tested 503 employees at Smithfield Foods since last Friday. Governor Tony Evers responded to the president's action. Order on this issue is important. Uh, for uh, making sure that our supply chain is good and make sure that we have uh, good nutritious meals. But at the other side of the story, we also have to make sure that our workers are healthy. Well, Terry, according to the Cudahy Health Department, how many people have tested positive for COVID-19? 33 in the city so far, but Patrick, the test results on the Patrick Cudahy workers are not complete so there could be more, and it's important to note that testing results are done by where the worker lives, not where they work. So some of that data is unclear, Patrick. All right, we'll keep checking. Terry Sater reporting live tonight.